What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, D. Dyson. And just finished season three, episode five of The Mandalorian. And again, it's not saying this is lackluster, but I feel like the world building is what means the most to me, even with this season. Like, we're going to new planets. We're exploring new territory. And we're furthering this story of The Mandalorians because, you know, you have a, a certain aspect of Mandalorians and Mandalore on from just Clone Wars. But I feel like with this episodic adventure that we're on with Din Djarin, I just love to see how we're going to really build Mandalore back up. And with this, I like that it, it felt like side missions that we had to do, like you got to go back and help uh, Grief Karga with these pirates that attack, um, what's their plan, Navarro. And I just love the aspects around that. Like, you know, he tried to do things right. You know, we're, we're operating the outer rim. We're, we're okay. We're good. Nobody, nobody to, you know, mess with this or nothing like that. And then you got these pirates that come and invade and start just blowing up people. And I'm just kind of like, dang, that, that really is a thing. And then he goes to the New Republic uh, troopers as far as just, you know, hey, we need help. Can you come in the outer rim? And I love that pilot that's just been continuous from the Star Wars original films trilogy, and he's still here. And he just kind of, he operates within the bounds of the law. He's like, hey, look, you know, and for that thing, wherever that, that alien was that was at the bar, seen him before, I think in, in, the Clone Wars, I think, you know, I was like, he was like either a mercenary or something like that. But to see them, him in here, I'm like, yes, they're bringing all of the Star Wars lore to the screens that we all know to make it feel like we're all interconnected. And I love it. And he goes, tries to do the right thing by going to Coruscant. And it's like, hey, we hit, you know, I'm going to, you're going to see them myself. Like, hey, these people need, you know, need help. And as you get the CEOs, like, oh, wow, you know, it's uh, Orlando, not Orlando, Phil, um, dude from Ladies Man. And I was just like seeing him in here as an as a officer, like, man, I just got here, that type of thing. But, you know, that officer sees that lady from last episode and is like, yeah, you're from Moff Gideon, you know, I know who you are, basically. And that's why I was like, wow, okay, now we're really getting to see how she infiltrated the New Republic just to kind of keep Moth Gideon out, as we kind of later see at the end of the episode. But we get back and you see how, you know, he, instead of going to the New Republic, he, you know, transponders and goes to the Mandalorian and finds their their, their secret uh, covenant and their covert, rather. And you see how he just kind of asks for the help. It's like, man, yeah, they're probably going to get rid of that droid. But... They really go in and was like, they have a meeting about it. And it's like, man, yeah, this is a place where we wouldn't really welcome. We were in the sewers, you know, but it was Din Djarin that was basically, you just see the two leadership skills from two different ways from Din Djarin and Bo-Katan Kreese. And as you see that it's building, like the tension is building because they're two different leaderships that is going to divide Mandalorians. And I think that's kind of like their how they operate like it's it's always going to be divided but they need to be under one house and then i loved how they how they plan different things and then John just was like yeah you know it's totally fine you know you go do your thing but it's you see the loyalists that are behind den jarn because he is that dude and but bo katan still plays her part and leads the siege and it's like here we're going to do this this is how we're going to operate she she's has excellent leadership skills and qualities you know, but people know how Din Djarin is. He just gets things done. He is a true, like, Children of the Watch Mandalorian. Like, he gets it. He get it done. So, you see how the Mandalorians operate and take out the pirates. And for that, you get that they get a place on Navarro. Like, man, you get your own way. This is where y'all stay. Y'all could be out in the open. You know, y'all got a, a huge plane where this... I know you guys don't have a home, but this is where you... Do, to be your base. So the armor looks at it like perfect. Finally, now Bo-Katan take off your helmet because you are, you walk both paths. Like you are Mandalorian. Like everybody knows who you are. So unite all of us because we're going to go back and take home, take our home planet back. And I'm like, yeah, I love it. The world building. 
I love it all. And we're getting to that tension between Din Djarin and Bo-Katan of who's going to follow who. Or I feel like they're going to have to work together to get Moff Gideon. And it's going to be a big battle with that, that Darksaber and who's going to really wield it. And I feel like Bo-Katan could already wield the Darksaber. So I'm like, yeah. But I somehow feel like in this, Maul is not dead. So you got Darth Maul still around here somewhere. So I'm here for it. So you guys enjoyed my review of The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 5. Subscribe to my channel. Post a comment down below and like the video. It's your boy, D. Dyson. Peace. Oh.